What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone in the house again man Still in the country area Yeah man we're not even going on the main road to do this video you know. Just gonna talk a little bit about um, what went down in that first ODI game Between West Indies under 19 and the South African under 19 team As they continue their preparation for the under 19 youth world cup yeah man, I am actually in Clarendon, my viewers and subscribers This is below my mother's house Yeah man, a whole lot of fruits and all them things There's a cane, jackfruit, coconut, jelly, mango, trees, all sorts of something Yeah man, so we just go, yeah, we'll go and relax in the cold breeze and talk a little bit about that game Alright, so what them call these? Willow tree or pine tree Down at the bottom there, there is a river but you know who can swim, so we don't really go too near to the water, you know. <laughs> Alright, so let, 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 me, let me give you a quick rundown of how the game went, my viewers and subscribers. Alright, um, so West Indies, we actually started off well, you know. We won the toss, decided that we were going to bowl first. And I want to tell you we were in a good position because uh, Anderson, who got the man of the match, he took four for 33. Yeah man, he took 4 for 33 to basically help bowl out, um, bowl out South Africa to what we thought would have been a score that we would have got easily. You understand? Um, we, you know, just, to, just to remind you, the game is being played at, uh, in, you know, they are actually in St. Vincent. Yeah man, so that is where the game is being played. And as I said, you know, um, it's just because our batting collapsed why we didn't win that game. Because we bowled them out for 146. Yeah, man, we got them for 146. So anything on a 250 over game, you think that, um, you know, the, the team batting second, once the pitch is not too bad, we would have gotten a chance to really go and, and, and deal with it. You understand? Um... But our batting collapsed. And when I say collapsed, it collapsed real bad, my viewers and subscribers. Collapsed real bad. You understand? Because at one point in time, we lost seven wickets for eight runs in just 25 deliveries. You hear that? Seven wickets for eight runs in just 25 deliveries. That, that, that is basically unheard of. You can almost say that is West Indies. <laughs> that is West Indies cricket in a nutshell, but... We definitely don't want that for our, our, our new youngsters. You understand? We don't want that. We want people to come in and settle down and, and play normal cricket and you know, get the little 146. Anyway, let, let, let me continue telling you how, how, how it went. So as I said, we bowl them out for 146. And, you know, we were cool cruising at 121 for 3 at one point in time. 121 for 3. You understand? Looking real good. Looking as if we were going to win. 121 for 3 in 31 overs. You know, easy, easy. So just a couple more runs to get. And as I said, we lost those 7 wickets for 8 runs after the 25 bars. And, you know, everything basically went downhill from there. You know, and we, we, we weren't able to recover. We ended up getting bowled out for 128. You understand, as I said, um, Anderson, he was a standout player for us getting 4 for 33. That gave him a man of the match um, performance um, award. You know, so, yeah. Uh, in terms of our top scorer, Giovante, uh, I think De Pisa, his name is the, one of the players that a lot of persons are actually looking forward to, you know, to see if he will come up and he will be the next Hitmeyer, the next poor and the next... Um, you know, and a 19 player that would have transitioned over into the, the West Indies, um, into the West Indies setup, the Cena setup. He got 39 of 33 to lead the way for us. So 39 of 33 to lead the way. You understand? But we didn't really get much more runs from anybody else. Um, Captain Akim, he got 27. Uh, another, another standout player that, you know, his name, he's touted. To be a man that will step up to the big play. Um, Teddy Bishop, he got 24. You understand? So that is basically how it went, my viewers and subscribers. Um, Tuesday will be the next game. The second game will be played on Tuesday. 
And I mean, if we were able to, to, to bowl them out so cheaply and we were chasing it down comfortably, comfortably, it seems as if the South Africa team can, can be beaten, man. They can get beaten. You understand? So we just need to settle down ourselves and, and, and bat sensibly and bowl sensibly and see if we can if we can um we can get off to a good start because at the end of the day my viewers and subscribers the 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 the, the ideal thing would be to 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 win to win this um this under 19 world cup you understand i know that because it is in our home we might uh we might be worried about um too much pressure being on them to actually lift lift the title because when you have a good enough team in you know, my viewers and subscribers but I try to pay a bush me a walk, you know. when you have a good enough team in you know, my viewers and subscribers and you, you 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 are hosting the tournament it is expected that you are going to win you understand or if not even win you are going to do well so we don't we don't want it to be a case where the players go out and choke you understand but um I didn't see the game. I don't know how many persons saw the game. As I said, you know, I I sort of put the football and the cricket on hold for now. You know, it, it, holiday time, so I didn't worry watch any football or watch any cricket. Uh, you know, so I just spend the time with the family. So I just reading the, all of what I'm saying here is what I would have seen on the West Indies um, website. So I can't give you any in-depth details or knowledge in terms of how we would have lost the wickets whether or not the um the bowlers um the batsmen you know um gave away their wickets or the south africans bowled well especially in that collapse you know i don't know if it is a case of um losing two wickets and then everybody start starts um worrying and then the whole collapse come i don't know how it happened you understand but it happened that that is the thing i don't know how it happened but it happened so we are we are definitely going to be looking to bounce back um coach um floyd reefer just needs to get his, his his troops together rally them talk to them let them know that hear what that was just a bump in the road we saw that we could we, we actually see that we can get the better of them so let us step it up let us step it up and see if we can apply some more pressure to them and 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 take it home you understand because as i said four match the series is still there to be won all we need to do is go out there and see if we can win the next two and and next two and then we, we see how it go for the for the fourth and final one you understand but um it's 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 off to a good well i wouldn't even say off to a good start it, it's good to know that they are getting some game time but in terms of saying it's off to a good start, I wouldn't say that because man them collapsed Rasta. The man them the man them pull a West Indies. They, they, they went ahead and they did what West Indies is actually known for. Getting off to a good start and then um collapsing. But not going knock them too much. You understand? Um we, we're going we're going to keep an eye on them and see how things work out. You know, because as I continuously preach my viewers and subscribers. What I want is, oh, pure breeze, you know. <laughs> what I want is to find at least two or three quality players coming out of this under 19 tournament that I can work with. Once I find that, then I know that here what. Um, you know, we, we, can, we can definitely take time and ease them into the team because West Indies Senior Team, right now, as we speak, you know, my viewers and subscribers. That that is still not still not where it is supposed to be in terms of batting. Right now about four four spot on West Indies team that is up for grabs. You yeah, understand? So so if you find a couple batsmen or, or, or a couple bowlers coming in real good, then spots will be there for them. But as I said my viewers and subscribers, gonna be keeping a close eye on it. Not going to draw this video too much longer. I know that the video the, the video in is not on point as how we usually um do the thing but we go you know we still have to get it in so the apple tree them apple tree actually blossoming so in the next couple of weeks months probably can get apple so go and big up on yourself my peeps and tomorrow hopefully tomorrow we'll be back up and running in kingston yeah man leaving the countryside um tonight so hopefully tomorrow by tomorrow evening you guys or, or the following day you guys can start getting some um you know you see me big up on yourself my peeps i'm out